Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, this has been a surprisingly difficult episode to title, uh, but take a look at this little code snippet. Now, what we have here is a while loop, but your while condition is actually a decrementation operation. i starts off at 10, and while i is being decremented, print out its value. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense at first glance, but well, it runs. It shows us the numbers from 9 through to 0. What exactly is happening here? You see, there are two mechanics in C that are not immediately obvious, but play into making this work. First, and probably what is more broadly known, is that in C, you don't have true or false. You only have 0 or non-zero, 0 representing false and non-zero representing true. In addition to this, you'll need to know that the incrementation operation actually returns the value of the variable in question. In this case, I'm using the postfix decrementation, and what this gives me is the value of i before it is being decremented. Hopefully this makes more sense now, because we can now read the statement as while 10. Being non-zero, 10 is treated as true, and the loop runs. At the same time, while doing this, write i minus minus evaluates to a decrementation of i. And therefore, in the next iteration, it becomes while 9. This repeats until eventually, i itself has the value of 0. This causes the while loop to terminate. And as a result, you see the numbers printed out in this order. So yeah, that's an interesting optimization, right? It's an interesting uh, conversion of a for loop into a while loop syntax. Of course, this is far less readable. I wouldn't recommend this, but well, you can do that. Of course, certain variants are available as well. For example, if I were to use prefix decrementation instead, prefix decrementation returns you the modified value, not the original value of i. And as a result, our loop now stops at an earlier place. Of course, right now we are only dealing with numbers that count down. Nothing stopping us from making it count up if we do additional computation within our while loop. Again, this makes things far less readable, but by doing things this way, we can actually count up, you know, properly from 0 to 10. Because we're doing a subtraction here, the effect on the condition part is exactly the same, right? It starts off non-zero, and it eventually drops all the way down to 0, causing the loop to terminate. So yeah, just a very interesting approach to writing loops, Again, I wouldn't recommend this you know, in any context other than as a novelty because it affects the readability of the code. And remember, we like our code readable. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Meets. I hope you gained some interesting insights today. But yeah, until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.